Welcome or welcome back everybody. This is Ben Gordon from Ben Gordon Outdoors. If you're joining us for the first time, um, I am a retired camp counselor. I was a camp counselor for about 10 years and nowadays I work as a structural engineer, but I'm still interested in the outdoors and sharing my experience. Today we're here to talk about splitting wood with a hatchet. Get out of here. Hatchet versus splitting maul. The splitting maul is basically a big old sledgehammer with an edge on it. Splitting maul is the tool of choice when you're at an established base camp and weight and size isn't a problem. But if you're out hiking, if you're backpacking, then a hatchet is definitely a little more packable than a splitting maul. It doesn't come with as much power as a splitting maul, so we'll have to choose our wood a little more carefully. You can see here this one is longer and knottier. This is going to be a lot more difficult to split. This one has less knots going on. There's still a couple little knots that are going to be in here, but ultimately it's rather straight grain. You're also going to need to, ch to choose logs that are smaller in diameter and shorter because then you've got less area to peel apart. So a hatchet can be used to split down decent sized logs. I wouldn't try and take on this one. Uh, this guy could probably pop that straight apart. So just like with a splitting maul, the easiest way to do this, once you find logs that will stand up on each other, two hand grip, overhead, down. You want to aim down at the base of the log, not up here at the top, because as you approach the top of this log, you're going to naturally slow down. So you really want to be making sure to aim for the bottom. This part's just in the way. We need to get it stood up. To get it stood up. There we go. It can be tricky to get them stood up, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. So, pops it right apart. If we had not gone all the way through, and I'm going to simulate that here, this is a little bit more dangerous. I'm holding way off to the side here so that as my axe goes down, it's going to split down with the grain. If you feel at all uncomfortable about doing this, don't. It can be a little dangerous. I'm going to lift these together and smack them down. I didn't stick. I'm going to do it again, and I'm letting go with my hand to get free and clear. We're almost there. Now it's stuck. And I'm going to drive that on there a little bit more. Now we're getting into what I call the upright bash. We've got the log coming up with the hatchet, and we're going to bring them down together. And this is pretty common. If you're splitting larger wood, you're going to get stuck partway through. Your options here are... You can baton, just like with a knife, although a lot of people say don't baton a knife. A hatchet can take it. It's made for that sort of impact. So you can just take and drive your hatchet head through. Always make sure that when you're swinging your hatchet, you're not aiming into yourself. I'm aiming at a twist. It might be hard to see on camera right now, but I'm aiming so that if I miss, I'm going to go this way and not stick into myself. You always want to be conscious of where the axe is going to go once it does its job. If I start splitting like this with my hand wrapped around, as soon as I split, the axe is going straight into my hand. So you need to be very conscious. Piper, get out of here. Good girl. All right. The other The opposite of the upright bash here as soon as you've got a log that weighs more than your hatchet head you actually get more inertia flipping it around and going this way this is going to be kind of silly with how light this piece is here but we instead go for this bigger one I'm not sure if this is going to work or not this is a pretty ugly piece I can't get it we'll try this one instead I'm just going to baton that right in there to get started. Important note on batoning, never, ever, ever hit hardened steel on hardened steel. Tools are made of steel that gets hard, 
and when steel that gets hard breaks, it does so pretty explosively. And the chips can go flying into your eye and other things like that. So now that we're in there, I'm gonna turn this around because this log actually weighs more than the head of the hatchet, so it's gonna have more inertia. And it's driving up into the log. And if I take that back around, You'll note that I'm working pretty hard here to split these logs. Normally you'd want a bigger stump up higher. You want it higher up than when you've got a long handle because you don't have that reach to swing down with. But since we're trying to be safe and use this small stump, we're staying down low here. The other option, if you don't have a good big stump, is what I call the parallel split because you're putting the stick you're trying to split and your handle parallel to each other. Lining them up, and as you strike these together, the head of the ax wants to go in following the grain and split, but this also wants to pinch your hands, so you need to be aware and kind of pull apart as you strike. I got a rotten log. This only works on thinner pieces. There we go. So we're buried in there. And if we take and we wrench sideways, it peels open. Sometimes you'll get kind of stuck in there where it won't run all the way down. See how it's not splitting all the way down? You can take it, swap it end for end. And twist. Pops right apart. So, the hatchet definitely is up to the task of making big pieces of wood into smaller pieces of wood, as long as you know your limits and you're safe about it. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, like. Subscribe, drop comments below for any further ideas you might have for videos. Thank you very much.